I'm at Hamden Park today launching a pilot screening programme for young athletes uh, to detect uh, whether they have the underlying conditions that can result in sudden cardiac death. It's a partnership with the SFA and with Glasgow University. It makes Scotland just the third country in the world to have a screening programme like this. It's open to all young amateur athletes in Scotland and I believe can make a difference in reducing, uh, thankfully, the small numbers of people uh, who die from uh, cardiac problems every year because they're active in sport. This programme will combine ECG and ultrasound technology to screen people for the inherited cardiomyopathies, arrhythmias that cause sudden cardiac death. It's open uh, on a voluntary basis, of course, to uh, all young amateur athletes over the age of 16 who take part in organised sport. And the big benefit of it is that it gives young people the ability to take part in sport with the assurance that they're fit and healthy. And I believe, although we'll test this over the, the two years of the pilot, that it can help us reduce the numbers of people who suffer sudden cardiac death. The, the cardiac problems causing problems during exercise are mainly structural abnormalities in young people and coronary artery disease over the age of 30. The structural abnormalities can be conditions that the kids have been born with, they can be congenital and they can be hereditary. So it can affect the heart muscle which can lead to problems of abnormalities of the electrical system as well. So when people have screened for the conditions which cause problems during exercise all around the world, it's the same conditions that keep cropping up and we know we can make the diagnosis safely and we can apply treatments for that. Sudden death in sport is very rare, but obviously when it occurs during a healthy pursuit that has got a major impact both in the media and the rest of society. In Scotland about 75 youngsters under the age of 25 die annually from sudden cardiac events. So it's a recognisable number and obviously the object of this programme would be to see whether we can reduce that number. We're a really proud sporting nation. We're ambitious for sport. We want to see our best athletes compete with the very best uh, in the Olympic Games and of course in 2014 in Glasgow. But beyond that, we want as many people as possible in Scotland to take part in sport. Uh, and I believe this is a, a small part of encouraging people to do so.